Hello and welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods. I'm back! Y'all, um, power went out and, um, well, first I want to say, I was hit by a tornado. <laughs> like, legitimately hit by, uh, well, not hit directly, but was, uh, passed by a tornado. And that took out the power of where I live for a couple of days. So, um, yeah, that kind of throws a, a wrench into things when you're trying to record stuff. Um, but let's get back into it. We have the Gusting Glaive, the Flagellation, Incendiary Bombs. We've got a Forge Hammer, Fulmination, Death's Rampart, and Primary Hammer. And we also have a Warmonger, Alchemist, Firesock, and Jaguar Hammer. As well as Incandescent Claws, Whispering Angels, and Keen Bow. Um, I think... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I would say I wanted to see what Fulmination looks like, Death's Rampart, but I don't think that is an interesting, like, it's it's effect of just pairing, pre um, reflecting projectiles is not very interesting to me. Um, to bring things back, I think we're going to go with the Jaguar Hammer build and see where we can go. We beat Path to Cruelty last, and I'm so happy about that. Now onto the Path of Hubris. It only took us six times, so yeah, we're not doing great. This new batch of stuff, it shouldn't be hard. It should not be hard, but it is effing difficult. Uh, I am completely out of practice now. It's been, um, let me see. I lost power, what was that? Thursday night, and it is now Tuesday morning. <laughs> I got power le late last night, so uh, hopefully, hopefully, we, uh, aren't terrible. Alright, circle. That's, that's parry, and, oh, oh I'm dead. Alright, let's, uh, not do that stuff. Okay. Poison attacks, uh, nope, we're just gonna keep with our hammer. It has health restoration on it, so that's why I was scratching my face. Alright, let's see what else we can get up to. Wow, I am, uh... That's not even me being rusty, that's just me playing badly. Oh, is that a wall? That is, that's is—that's gotta be a wall. Yeah. Alright, free chest. Let's see what we got. Um, per thousand gold. I don't really see that coming up, but hey, maybe we're going to um, get some gold real quick. Uh, that's gonna be one of the first ones that I disregard, though, because it's not helping any of my attributes. He's gonna die from burning. Gotta get that uh, stamina recharge. Which means I need them to strike me so I can parry them and get that, uh, that full recharge. Now, we're not getting a benefit from my relic yet because it's per thousand gold, right? 2% base damage per thousand gold. I wonder if that, if we're getting a slight damage increase ahead of time before the thousand gold, um, we're not going to be using a shield. Let's go to the relic, try and get ourselves... I, I don't need to... I need to just calm down on the generation of money and start spending that money to increase ourselves. I am curious... What 
is special about these? Because they seem like they're just normal dungeon runs. Is there going to be something special at the end of them? Or what? Another Guardian's Codex. I don't need that. Because, like, the, the path before, it led us down um, something to where we would have a... Uh, champions throughout the level and then you face all three flavors of champions um, but these just seem like normal runs like normal end um, end temple runs Oh, boy. So if anyone in the comments below knows um, what makes these special, um, I would love to hear from you. All right. Um, I would love, love all of these. Specifically, this one and this one. I, I wish I could get both. Um, do I want... Do I want better healing for the long term with plus three dexterity or a 30% bonus to damage with fire attacks plus perception? I think I think I'm going to buy the Jaguar Claw. Yeah. We're going to buy the Jaguar Claw. Unfortunately, I no longer have the thing where I um, gain perception with gold offerings. Oh, this is just a free room because I don't need healing um, grace of the tempest oh but we we do have grace of the tempest so far if I could just like equip one more blessing have four blessings instead of three it would be gain perception with each um, gold offering the the um, Bonus dexterity on a non-hit room. And, um... Keep the... Greed going, as well as... Um, refill stamina. But I guess that's why they give you only three. Otherwise, you would just make yourself way too overpowered. I will say... I think this game takes a while to do it, but you are ending up um, getting very powerful at the end of a run if you can spec correctly with your uh, relics. God dang it. Yeah, we'll restore health. I gotta be better at not getting hit because that's costing me so much um, dexterity. Um, you know what? I've got the gold. I'm not really spending the gold on anything for the rest of this um, temple. So we'll just get both. Get our health going up a little bit. Ah, oh, we got two upgrades though. Oh no. I should have just bought the cheap one. Well, we're going to be throwing some uh, blood into those wells. <laughs> It's fine. We're not getting extra perception with uh, gold purchases. Way too late on that. Oh my goodness. You gotta remember that you have to be very careful about... Um, your timing of things because oh my god I I parried that trap I think that's the first time that I've ever parried one of those traps and now that I've been hit I can just parry like crazy which is awesome unfortunately that is not a flawless room Okay, offer blood for that. Per point of constitution. So we really need that constitution going now. So I've really got to just start specking towards constitution. Okay, okay. 
We can do that. We can definitely do that. Um, conceal. Oh, I hate Shadow Word. Shadow Word killed a really good run um, in the past. Like, I had a really good going run. I just remember. I don't remember the run exactly, but I do remember that I was feeling amazing in the run, and then I got killed. Because uh, an, a secret enemy snuck up on me. Alright, get that stamina going. Oh, that's gonna be a flawless room. Hell yeah! Get that dexterity. It's not as beneficial as uh, constitution at the moment, but I'll take it. I will definitely take it. I wish after a while, like after you like you get past like on the fifth in um, up upgrades, I wish that you could um, start increasing the individual things. Like um, instead of one percent bonus, is like it goes up to like a two or three percent bonus. I think that would be really fun uh, with weapons, but I can see how that would definitely really f you. Stamina. Let's recharge that stamina. Let him attack. Whoa. Oh, it's getting a little spicy. Oh, dear. Oh, it's a little spicy. A little too much te storm tempest going. Whatever that attack's called. Too many uh, tempests going. Like one more combo and we've got him. All right, two more combos and we got him. <clears throat> ah, damn it! Oh, I was so worried that that uh, storm was going to engulf me. But we got that. We got that perfect. We got that perfect. All right, yeah, definitely getting rid of Shadow Ward. All right, let's reduce that corruption a little bit. Let's offer that to the gods for some money. And uh, go on our merry way. Get that plus one to Dex. Let's see what we want. We, th I think I want to actually go this way so we can attempt the vault. I think that's going to help us a little better. And we're going to go with the unknown. That way we um, have a double chance at in getting like a relic or um, something else. But we have a guaranteed heal, and that means a guaranteed plus one to our deck. So that's that's fine. Oh, we got plus two to our decks. Hell yeah, this is actually really good for us. I wonder if you end up using the um, the healing well, if that counts as damage, even though you're healing yourself, but it's technically damage because you're taking corruption. days off like hey took the weekend basically off of recording and we're um thankfully still in the group <laughs> i'm thankful that i'm that i haven't lost the um all the group of this game
makes me worried for what I'm gonna go back to enter the gungeon as though. Cause that one, when you when you stop playing it oh shit. Um, it definitely feels pretty bad. Alright, plus that for but we do get plus two perception. Um you know what? I'll go ahead and take it for the perception. I'm not really worried about my corruption at the moment. I should because I don't have any way to reduce it at the moment. But for right now... I think we're doing fine. Mm, yeah, we'll go take that for the extra um, decks. Is there a wall behind there? No, it's the other way. Okay, yeah, I, I understand. I understand that layout. Woo! That's a, quite a few mines on the ground. It's like they're trying to keep out intruders. Um, I don't really need that. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take this. This way, when we um, parry someone, it's going to uh, reflect that damage back onto them. Um, yeah. And I don't know if it's going to help us with in the dark. Like, it's not really going to help us in the dark. Be oh, I actually did that flawlessly. That's amazing. Um, uh, that's fine. Um, the thing that I'm curious about is, will that transfer over to the two-handed? Are we suddenly going to be getting... Well, that doesn't make sense because my two-handed stuff is emitting fire, so we're going to constantly be in the light. So yeah, that, that bonus 30% damage doesn't matter. Like, maybe if I uh, were to parry something without setting it on fire first... All right, you know what? Just reconfigure. Reconfigure. Oh! We got this. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Oh, yeah, we got this. Oh, that felt good. All right. I don't need that, but I will take the constitution bonus it gives us. Um, I will take that. And then for this... Ooh. Absolutely not. We're going to remove this to... I think we'll remove the dark mysteries. Because what was our other curse? All warrior statues are traps. That, that's fine. That's fine. We got... We're doing great on the dexterity bonuses. Woo. Oh, we got a baby. We got a baby. I didn't see the baby. I'm scared of the baby. Oh, gee, I didn't realize he was a elite. Oh, we so close to getting that triple parry. It is, it's not, not crazy. It's been a while since I've seen a baby. That baby freaked me out. The baby honestly did not do anything to me, but it just, it made me tense. Um, let's go ahead and offer gold for this. Yeah.
so hard to get that triple one off. I don't know why, because I've got the timing down. It feels like I have the timing down, but it's just, it's so slightly off that it just messes up my rhythm. And that might just be a me thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I didn't mean to uh, swap those out, but you know what? I'm fine with that. Need to recover some health. I don't care about the gold. It's it's a pitiful amount of gold. It's not like there's a secret count or a secret ticker in the in the background counting up the amount of gold that you're getting and that increases or decreases your chance of other um, loot dropping. That's that ties directly to your score of dexterity, I believe. Ah, uh, that leet. Taking a lot of damage. God dang it. Lightning orb. You know what? Well, I'm glad that we got that because it helps our health situation a little bit. Not a whole lot, unfortunately, but, you know, 8% is better than no percent. Um, I think I want both. On to our second boss. Which is going to be Malik Paul? Right? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm doing terrible right now. I'm like, what? One, two hits away from dying? Oh, shit. Yeah, I was two hits away from dying. Oh, I'm a little rusty with him. He's hard with a hammer. He's hard with a two-handed hammer. Thank you guys for watching, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be making content for you guys, and that's all I want to say. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.